folks, I'm Stuart, I'm with the Four Crows Bushcraft and Primitive Living Skills and welcome to another more video. Uh, in my last video we did a comparison between a modern survival tin with its contents compared to a primitive survival kit made from what nature provides. Uh, and from that I had a question from a fellow YouTuber, Survival Bill, hey Bill, uh, about the cordage um, that I used when I said there was two different methods of making cordage. You could make your ordinary cordage which you could hand twist but we explained in that video that if you use that on your droppers what could end up happening is the line can unwind as you're bringing the fish in. Um, so the other method was using a braid uh, and Bill asked do you take the raw material and braid it as it is, or do you make it cordage first and then braid it? Well, you actually just use the raw material and make a three plat blade braid, sorry. Um, so I'll show you how to do that and uh, I'll get back to you in a second, okay? So to make the braid what I've got is some lime bark, which is Tilia species, um, or basswood to our American friends. Um, so it's the inner bark, uh, which I've soaked in some water. So, I could just take this and tear it into strips and braid it up, but what we're going to do today is we're going to use a method of cutting even strips so we retain the strength by not having a one weak part, i.e. having a two thick pieces and one thin piece, okay, which would reduce the uh, tensile strength. So, I'm just going to take this small wedge. I've made and help us to cut our cordage. Drive that in there. There we go. And what I'm going to do is pop my knife next to it. To the desired width of the cordage that we'd like. Pop the knife right in there, like so, and then we'll just take our bark and run it through. start on it, which usually helps. There we go. Keeping that taut and using the blade of the knife just to run down the bark. Okay. I'll carry on doing this and then I'll get back to you, okay? Cheers. So, now we have three roughly evenly matched pieces, okay? With the line bark. And you can see it there, the three, okay? Three strands. So what I'm going to do, and one end of them, I'm just going to tie an overhand knot, which will help us when it comes to braiding. Simple as overhand knot, okay? And there are three strands. Now the reason I soaked the bark uh, is to make it more manageable to work with than when it's dry. 
Ok, je sors. Here we go. I'll retrieve my knife. So then what I've got is take that toggle out. It's just a an ordinary stick. And uh, I'm just gonna take the bark off it using the back of the knife. And this will help us when it comes to making our cordage. Because when you're using making hand spun cordage rather than a, a braid, um, you have control because you've your hands act like a vice. Whereas this we need uh, for the braid, we need a vice which can give us some grip to hold the material. So there we go, just scrape that. So all I'm gonna do is take my knife and create a split in the wood. Trying it open. I don't want to split off the ends. That's why I've left a knot at one end and a knot at the other. Just want to pry this open. I hope it doesn't split too far. Off to one side. As you can see, I've created a split. Okay, so we'll go back and what I'll try to do is using the knife to open up the cordage, uh, open up the stick, sorry, of thread the knot of the cordage through the split. So, you see that? So there's the cordage through the split. I will take the knife out and it will clamp shut. I can then pull on the cord until it comes and locks in place with the knot in there. And we still have our three strands. Okay. Well, just take the knife out. And uh, now to begin braiding, it'd be handy if we could have a, a tree with a branch in it um, to start us off. Um, but as you can see, there's I don't know if you can make out, but there are more mature trees here, so there's no many small branches round about to uh, hook onto. So, what I'll do is uh, to make the cordage is do what our ancestors did and that was use us as a vice so what I'm going to use is my foot ok now I've not got the prettiest of feet um, I probably should, I did wash them before I came out so something you can pull on, a vice. So I'm going to take my starter three strips. And one, two, three, and we'll begin the braid. So it's one over the other. Just get a start here. So what I'm doing is 
venues have done big deals with any, any kids have got kids and you braid the rear for big deals it's basically all you're doing so how that works is the one at the back follows the way always becomes the front so Up, as I say, feet are not pretty, but it does the job. Okay. So, as you can see, the one at the back comes over the one in the middle. One at the back comes over the one in the middle. One at the back comes over the one in the middle. But what I'm talking about when I'm saying the one at the back, the one that's farthest away, is this one. Okay? So here it comes into the centre. And that one comes at the centre. And that one comes at the centre. So it's slightly difficult because very very cold in the feet. So, take this back a bit. So we'll look. So that wants to come into the middle. That one in the middle. So now we're cooking. So here was uh, one that I showed you in the other video of the swivel. Um, let you see it from the top. So there's your ordinary spun cordage the swivel, split stick, and then there's our dropper tied in, and then. Oops the braid. And all the way down till we have excuse my fingers our gorge. Made a piece of wood drilled out with a piece of flint and then cordage tied through and knotted. So there you go. I hope that answers your question Bill. Um, it makes some sense. Um, but there you go. Anyway, I hope that made some sense for you, Bill. Um, that's how we make a braided line for a fishing hook. So, yeah, it won't come undone when the fish spins through the water. So, as I say, I hope that makes sense. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Uh, 
hope to catch you again very soon and hopefully the weather will, the weather will be better uh, than it's been of late and uh, thanks very much to all my subscribers and everybody for watching take care guys thanks very much bye